Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today I got a sweet game in my Object 277. This is the Tier 10 Soviet heavy tank. Um, it comes off the T10 line now. We're on Hidden Village. There's a lot of eights on each team. And Hidden Village, I like to fight the south. Um, if I'm in a fast tank, I like to go to the middle. Um, just be careful if you go to the middle and you don't have any city support, your middle is going to be compromised, you're going to get shot in the side. So um, you can hold the middle if your team has city support, but if you have nobody that goes to city, then the middle is out of the question. Like you can go there for initial spots, but um, definitely put a timer in your head of when they're going to be pushing through the city because you're going to be a sitting duck once they come over to your side of the city. All right, you can see we got a huge lemming train going this way. So to me, um, I want to push. Now, when I say to push, um, I really don't mean like just throw my tank away. I want to be careful, utilize my armor as best I can but get into a forward location to hopefully motivate my team to not just sit back and camp, um, especially on this map. So many players sitting like E3 behind that corner and there is not many shots that you can get. I prefer this hill right here. Now it isn't very arty safe, so you have to be careful of that. All right, so we got a Panther 2 there. We got a tortoise there. Get a shot into the tortoise's cupola. And yes, I know, this is a replay mode, um, so you don't get to see my reticle and where I'm shooting. Alright, so this Panther 2, he's just on a sliver of health. Try to get a shot into his cheek and I miss. I'm gonna back up. And really, what I want to do in this position is not only take care of these guys across the field, um, but essentially be able to pull up and shoot the, the guys to my right here. My T92 slams that tortoise, and then there's a scout right behind us. I'm gonna aim at him, and unfortunately, my shell misses there. So I'm feeling pretty unlucky. Uh, can't hit the Panther 2 to kill him. I can't hit the Scout that's 20 feet away from me. And I wanted to pull up to shoot the guys on my right. However, the Panther 2 is just going to be a pest here. Uh, every time I look at him, he backs up though. So I'm really contemplating what I should do here. I bounce off the Panther 2's turret that time. I hit the outside. He's working that corner really well, props to him. Um, just even staying there with a tier 10 heavy here. So I believe I switched to HE here. Um, hopefully just to get a splash that way. As long as I hit his turret, I should go, I'm gonna do damage to him, right? I did see an arty shell fall right in front of me earlier and now one just went right over my head. So I gotta keep that in mind. Um, arty has figured out that I am sitting in the open so I don't want him to sit here too long and I do hit him but I leave him on 14 hit points all right what to say I feel like I'm taking way too long you can see that they already have tanks coming out of the city uh, we do have a couple tanks on the base to defend but the clock's going off in my head I'm gonna have to make a move here all right, so we're gonna pull up here. The Panther 2 is still sitting there, and I just auto lock and pull the trigger. Um, he was pulled out a little bit further around that corner, so I was able to do that, but I just thought it was funny. The one time I didn't aim, I finally shut him down. So I'm gonna come around here and get a shot right into the 704, set him on fire. Doesn't look like he's got a fire extinguisher, and he explodes. What a beautiful sound when it's a red tank. 
What a terrifying sound when it's your tank, though. A little sizzle. All right, so <clears throat> once that field's cleaned up, you're able to take this position, which is pretty arty safe. Um, and now this is a really aggressive position, so um, you have to be mindful of what your teammates are doing. But since I have a lot of teammates on the other side of the hill I was just on, uh, I'm able to take this position, turn some guns this way away from my team. And now I don't want to fight that chieftain. So I'm going to move back this direction. And I see that uh, their heavy tanks started to push in. So I want to catch their heavy tanks. And when I'm big dog in tier 10, I like to try to take on their tier 10s. Um, it really bothers me when their tier 10s like don't go to the choke and I'm stuck fighting a bunch of eights and nines, um, knowing that their tier tens are on the other side of the map, uh, chiseling away at my eights and nines. All right, so my Artie's doing work. Their Artie takes out the object 140 on my team. This Emil got a nice shot into me uh, in between those rocks, and I'm not sure if he's clipping or not, I mean, I seen that he said reloading on the replay mode, but in game, obviously, I can't see that. So at this point, when I drive out sideways and he doesn't shoot at me, I assume that he's reloading. So, um, keep wiggling just so Artie is not going to hit me, but this game is all but wrapped up. Once again, my T92 slams down on top of his head and proceed to the end here. So really a fast-paced game. Um, I picked the tempo up. I felt like their tier 10 heavies were countering me and rather than trying to engage me, um, they did quite the opposite in trying to just stay away from me. Now, that might sound a little arrogant. I don't think they were like running from Mustard Mav by any means, um, but I felt like they maybe thought they were getting flanked from behind, so they had to push out forward. That's just me guessing, not 100% sure on that. Um, I felt like they could have turned around and maybe dealt with me with that chieftain. Honestly, I probably would have been a little screwed if they did that, depending on what my team does. Um, a lot of the times your teammates don't react to them turning around. Um, so then my team would probably just sat there, watch them turn around and kill me. Get a nice ram into Artie. Whenever you, whenever you get to ram Artie, there's just, you know, like a piece of your heart that starts to glow. It's just pure happiness when you get to smash into Artie. I love it. Light that guy on fire, RNG. You know, you, you kind of burned me on the Panther too, but you made up for it. All right, so let's check end game stats here. Boys and girls, we aced the 277 for the first time. 5,800 damage, 1,800 assisted, blocked 1,500. Just overall, nice game. Um, they already did 4,600 damage, and their Chieftain did 4,000. That's really all I got for you guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.